नमस्कार एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द एपिक आफ्टर दिस क्लास यू विल बी एबल टू डिस्कस द कंसेप्ट द डेफिनेशन द कन्वेंशंस एंड द डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ एपिक पोइट्री एपिक इज अ लॉन्ग पोएम सेलिब्रेटिंग द लाइफ हीरोइक डीड्स एंड अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ अ नेशनल हीरो वेदर हिस्टोरिकल और लेजेंडरी एम एच एब्राहम डिफाइंस एन एपिक दस द टर्म एपिक और हीरोइक पोएम इज अप्लाइड टू अ वर्क दैट मीट्स एटलीस्ट द फॉलोइंग क्राइटेरिया इट इज़ अ लॉन्ग नरेटिव पोएम ऑन अ ग्रेट एंड सीरियस सब्जेक्ट रिलेटेड इन एन एलिवेटेड स्टाइल एंड सेंटर्ड ऑन अ हीरोइक और क्वासी डिवाइन फिगर ऑन हुज एक्शंस डिपेंड द फेट ऑफ अ ट्राइब अ नेशन और द्यूमन रेस लेटर पोएट्स फॉलोड द एग्जाम्पल ऑफ होमर नॉट ओनली इन द जनरल प्लान ऑफ द एपिक बट ऑल्सो इन वेरियस मैटर्स ऑफ डिटेल्स द थीम ऑफ द एपिक इज स्टेटेड इन द फर्स्ट फ्यू लाइन्स अ कंपनीड बाई अ प्रेयर टू द म्यूज The statement of the theme is called the preposition and the prayer the invocation the epic employs certain conventional poetic devices such as the homeric epithet a term or phrase sometimes quite lengthy applied again and again to a particular person place or thing and the homeric simile which setting out to make a comparison between two similar objects develops into a piece of elaborate description a word picture almost a short poem in itself designed to capture the reader's imagination the action of the epic is often controlled by supernatural agents in homer and virgil these are the classical gods and goddesses The epic contains a number of thrilling episodes. The epic is divided into books, usually 12 in numbers. Epics are primarily of two kinds. First is epic of growth or authentic epic. It is not the work of one man. Modern research shows that before being formulated for long ages, forming the stock in trade of wandering storytellers in verse these fragments were later collected together by some poet and given the shape of epic it is a result of natural growth in popular song and story the second kind of epic is epic of art or literary epic it is a work of art deliberately planned in the epic manner in imitation of its original prototype it is the product of an individual genius italy and france set the fashion for a parody of the epic form which later found imitators in england in this a theme obviously unworthy of the serious epic is in all the traditional and solemn dignity of the epic form and this is known as the mock epic The finest example in English verse is Pop's Creep of the Lock which celebrates an absolutely trivial thief in the epic manner. This is all about today's class. Thank you.